Okay, I'm back. Can y'all hear me now? Y'all can hear me now? Okay. All right. All right. We can, you can, okay, we can hear you. Okay, great. Great. All right. Great. You always have to check that because I don't know sometimes if that, uh, the microphone is working. I know I have it uh, connected, but I don't know. But thank y'all for letting me know. Yeah. Oh, I'm back again. What I'm going to do, I'm going to share some of my accessories. I know what it was when I was sharing my camera gear uh, in the last live. It was one thing people were asking me about, and they said, well, they wanted to know what it was that I was using that follows me when I'm out uh, doing uh, videos. And what that is, is this here, uh, this tele, this thing right here is what I use. As you can see it has a little light, a light beam, and it's like motion. And this here, you uh, attach a camera on it. And so when, uh, when you out, when you move, then this here will turn the camera. It'll follow you as you move. So I wanted, I know uh, someone was in there and they asked about that, what, what it was that I was using to make the camera turn all the way around when I'm uh, out recording and I don't want to have anybody around me. I could be on the moor and I could put it somewhere and it'll follow me back and forth. And so that's this one. I had another one, but the other one got damaged, and I, I I just said, well, forget it. I had to throw it away. I couldn't. I never could find a part to repair, so I just said I wouldn't get another. Now this is is this here. It, they're pretty good. They, you know, I've had I done had about I want to say I done had about four. I had another brand, and it, it didn't hold up too good. But this one here has. Uh, held up real good for me and the only thing that happened was the wind was blowing and I was out and it fell over and it damaged something internal in there and it cracked the components so I, I lost on that now this little thing I think I paid about I think I paid something like fifty dollars for it and it has uh been really good so uh see if I could turn it on there's, there's a little light sensor light Let's see if it comes on I think it's still charged up try to get it if I can yeah there you see it, it generates a little light if you can see it it's a little bit of light right here so that light will uh, I'll see if I can get it to work uh, let me see. Okay, now there's one light there, and then there's another light. So you see when I move, well, you can see it right here. The way is when I move, it's moving around. So you see, you see how it's turning around. So <laughs> it is going to keep turning around and around. Because I'm right in the, I'm right in uh, in the view of the light, so it'll it'll keep turning the camera around. So, so if, if you get inside of it, it's going to look for you, and then it's just going to turn around. So then that's going to get the view of the camera when I'm out working. So this here's what I what I what I use when y'all see me out there. I'm on the moor, and I can go down and come back and turn around. This here's what's following me. This beam of light and this telekin, it will uh, it'll follow me all the way around. So you see, you see how the camera keeps turning because it's trying to keep a line of sight, keep me in view. So if I had the camera on, it would record me. But I don't have a camera on. But that, any camera you can place on there, like I'll have a uh, a GoPro on there, and it'll turn all the way around. So anywhere, like when I move around in a room. This thing would uh would follow me. 
So it's like if I move, you see, it's going to follow me. So you see, if I go wherever I move, it's going to move. See? So that's what I use when I'm uh, when I'm out and by myself and I'm doing all this recording. I can take them and put this thing here in a tree and mount it on, on a tree or mount it on a fence somewhere. And I have this on here and I can make the camera follow me and I can get a, a good recording with that. Then I have other stuff, you know, that, that I use like these here little things like this right here for recording. You can attach it to something, a little grip. And then, you know, I have these, uh, let's say here, I have these, uh, these here mounts that I use. Use this right here. You can connect it to something. It's a little, and, and you make it real study. You hook that onto your mower. You can find a spot on the deck and clamp down on it. And, you know, it's real study and your camera won't fall off. So these here are good. I don't, I don't forget what I pay. I don't know. If, I don't know if I pay like nine or ten dollars or fifteen or something like that for for these little things. They're not that expensive. Just have to buy these other little components that you screw on them. So that's good for recording. And I'll have these here's a suction cup. You can mount this on a window somewhere or even on the car inside, inside on your windshield. But what you have to do is put some water in. We'll pour a little water on there and then just slap it down on there and pump this thing right here and it'll stick on there real steady. So when you drive it down the road, it won't, you won't get in that little vibration where it's shaking. It is real steady. It'll hang right in there. It's like some of the uh, cheaper mounts, they don't hold up as well. But uh, these are real good. And, you know, other stuff. This is what I was telling about with my Sony. Uh, this here is like, uh, you can record and turn the camera on and put it in a lock mode. This is what I use with the Sony for its recording. You can turn it off and turn it on. Then you can adjust this thing, let it up and hold it when you have your camera connected to it and you can record, you know, just moving all around. So I've used this for doing my recording. So that's another accessory that I have. Uh, for doing recording and I have these other little gadgets that I use for uh, recording this here you just, is a little tripod you can carry with you and let's see if I can turn the legs then the legs are flexed and you just turn it here and get it out all right, let me see if I can get this one here to come out of there. Yeah, there it is. So then you got a little mini uh, tripod that you can carry with you and put it in your pocket and put it somewhere and attach your camera on there. And also, yeah, I can put this one here, take this here device off right here and put it on here and record. And a lot of times when I'm out, this is what I'm using for... Uh, recording something small you can put off to the side and uh, put your camera on there and record and I also have another one somewhere but these are some of the things that I use when I'm out there recording and doing uh, you know just a lot of recording in different places parks and doing a lot of landscaping work I've used stuff like that then this is another this is here is this old GoPro um suction cup mount and they're okay but when you're traveling you get a lot of vibration on it so it's not real study it's you know it's, it's not that good it'll work it's better than nothing unless you put it in a stationary area and you know I'll, you can place on the outside the window and have it where that is placed while you're out, out working and you can place your camera on there and it will uh record you 
So it's better than nothing, but it's okay. But you have to be careful because sometimes if these things are not good and clean, when it's hot, it will come loose. And if you, you know, out on the asphalt or concrete, it'll fall off and your camera will fall off and it needs to be damaged. You don't want to damage any of your cameras. And uh, I got another one. Well, this here is a cheapo, so you get what you pay for. I mean, it'll, it'll work, but you got to... You got to be cautious about when you use these type of things. Make sure it's good, clean surface. And if it's hot, it will come loose. Also, England in the cold weather, they do the same. So you got to be careful when you use them. Now, something else I use is a window mop. What this is, is a tripod for the window. You let you, you're driving along and you take and place this here on your window. And you screw it in it's got a little it's a little bracket in there and it's got some rubber in it and you tighten it up on the window and so then you put your camera in the window and it's like a little tripod you can adjust it so when you're going down a the road then you can record in your car and this is on the window so it'll be real stable i mean you can be on the freeway with it and you let that window halfway down and put this here on there and you can do some real awesome shots with that. You know, let it up and all these doing different angles and all. So there's another accessory that I have for when I'm doing some uh, recording. And what else I have here? Uh, I got another, uh, another mount that I use. Uh, this right here, well, you can put your camera, it's a hand mount. And you put your camera there, and you can put your light here, a flash here. So you mount your camera, screw it on right here, and you can hold it out, and then you can get a good study shot when you are uh, recording. So, I mean, I got all kinds of stuff to do a lot of recording, and I've used this stuff. Like I say, I've done weddings and a lot of other stuff for recording, so I have to have a lot of different accessories to set up to go and do the job. So... I'm sharing with y'all what I use when I'm out there. And all these videos that I've been doing over the years, these are some of the accessories that I use when I'm out there recording. So that's one there. Then this is another one here. This here is, uh, well, you know, you want to hook it on a, another uh, accessory that you can attach to, to like, well, you can put this on your tailgate. You can put it, if you got it on your trailer, which I used to have it connected on my trailer. And I put the camera on there, and I tighten this up. And, hey, it's going to stay in there. I wouldn't lose it. So it would be on there. I could play, put it in different areas on the trailer. Also, I can put a camera here. I can put a camera right here, turn it sideways, and put a camera on there and travel with this here uh, on there. And this here, it ain't nothing cheap. It's it's solid. So I paid a little money for it, but it's good. You got to have some good stuff for doing your uh, videos. So that's another accessory. And I got this one here. This is another type of uh, mount. And this one here, you can, it's got another little jaws where you can clamp and you can hook, hook up. And uh, basically, you can, uh, well, you hook this up, you can hook it up on a pole, and it extends out, and you're able to extend your camera out. This is like, like if you're mowing or you have it somewhere and you want to put a camera on there, and you can use this here device right here. So this here is another little accessory to uh use i mean actually for recording you can have a, well you hook the camera up on here this is just a clamp you can screw it in or you can add another extension on top of this and make it longer and hook it up and uh not on a notebook but i'm just <laughs> no you damage your screen with this but just having some type of wood or some surface you can catch it right here and screw it down and just put your camera in there and do some recording so that's another accessory that I have so um, 
Let's see what else I got. Here. I, got I mean, I got a lot of different uh, gadgets that I use for the recording. And this here is another one right here. You can put a camera on and it's plastic and you screw it right here and tighten it up. And uh, away you go. It's one of these uh, Jobies. Yeah, it's a little Joby. And you can put it on there. And this is another one adjusting for your camera and put it on there. Something quick to mount up and, uh, you know, start your video, depending on where you want to put it for its recording. So these are a lot of things that I use when I'm out recording. And then I have, let's see, uh, what this is, is it has a dead cat on it. And it's actually, you put this on your camera, it has a microphone in the back and one in the front. And so when you're walking and you have your camera with you, you can turn that camera around and you can record from this side and record from this side. And I, what I do is I use that on this here camera here also. I mean, I put it on, on here. So sometimes when y'all see me out walking, I may have this microphone on here and I'm talking. Now, if I don't have that on here, I have this other device on my camera. It's like when I'm blogging, I have this in front of me. And then when I when I'm not when I have this in front, I turn the camera around, I can turn this here. Well, let me show you. I can turn this here around and I can talk directly into the mic and the camera is facing that way. So you'll hear me loud and clear. A lot of times you, you don't want to, you wouldn't hear me because the mic would be turned the other way. But I can turn it around. And then when I'm getting ready to flip the camera around, I just turn it back and start talking right here. So it's all kinds of tricks and accessories that you have to have when you're recording on a video, when you're walking and talking, and you want to have that microphone set up where I know the, oh my god, somebody calling me. Oh my well, oh that ain't no good. Scam calls. You out of here. But yet, well, as I was saying, you want to have your microphone in front where that someone can hear you at all times. You can hear them. And then, you know, when you're flipping that camera around, you can talk and give them a view of what you're talking about while you're walking and all. So these are just some of these accessories that I built up over the years of uh, working with these cameras and creating videos. Uh, you know, as they say, vlogging. This is what I've been vlogging with. So that's just one there. Wow, I'll use that. And uh, what else I got here, guys? Uh, well, this is at home. This is one of these old uh, uh, Yeti. It's a blue. This is this old microphone I use that for sitting down doing voiceovers sometimes. And other stuff I use, well, you know, I got some batteries. I was out and I was having problems with some of my batteries, but uh, I got some more. And it's got this here thing here. Got two of them. I have actually, you know, yeah, I have two of these that I use for when I'm out uh, recording. And you always need plenty of batteries because they, they always go down. I mean, you use them real quick. So I got, I got that and I have... Uh, some GoPro, some extra GoPro batteries that I use for use with my cameras. So I got that's another accessory. And you know, when you're doing a lot of recording and all of that, um, oh, something else I wanted to share show you. Oh, I have this here gadget here too. This is for recording. You can put a camera on this. Another and, caller. Come on. Ooh, no. Oh, God, excuse me, guys. Right when I'm doing the video. Hello, thanks for calling me back. I like here. How can I help you? Mr. Carter, how are you doing? Hey, how you doing there? Good. I, I had my caller ID thing turned off. I'm sorry. Uh, I turned it off when I'm working. Oh, okay. Yes. You know, I got to call like 15 random people a day. So, so I changed my number too, also. Uh, I kept getting this fucking scam call thing. So I thought if I changed my memory, it would stop it, but it does not. Yeah, I've been getting a lot of those spam calls. You know, I got over 
300 last week. Oh. It's all started about this Medicare and all of that other stuff there. Well, I got this app from T-Mobile. I don't know who you have for service, but T-Mobile's pretty good about it. It just sends it straight to voicemail. Yeah. No, they couldn't even leave me a voicemail. I totally blocked it. But it shows up in their app. That's what yeah. Yeah. I got that from T-Mobile. Yeah, it it, uh, it, it it registers as a, as a spam call. Uh, yeah. So I'll put some money on there on the first of the month for you. Uh, okay. Do you think you can get yours by Thanksgiving? I know it just rained over here. Everything's ruined right now. It's all sorry. Yeah, yeah, I'll get you. I'll get you for okay. uh, Thanksgiving there, definitely. Okay, cool. Uh, I'll do my best to put some on there for Christmas. I don't know if we need anything, but for the month of December, I'll still try to, you know, Okay. Right. It's really not growing that much. Well, it's it, it's growing a little bit, but uh, mostly it's just the leaves falling and stuff. Okay. Okay. So how did everything go on vacation? Yeah, you said you were going. Yeah, man, I can't get out of here. I'm trying to get out. <laughs> it stopped my sure vacation. <laughs> it's stopping my vacation. I can't get nowhere. <laughs> it keep calling me. I don't know, that's what I said. I thought I was gonna be going getting away, but I can't get away. Oh my goodness! Yeah. Well, I hope you're able to do that soon. Yeah, uh, yeah. I, I'll get you taken care of. No, I'm talking about your vacation. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. No, I, I don't uh, know. <laughs> they, they don't. They don't want me to go on vacation. Well, you do too good a job. I mean, everybody. Yeah. <laughs> I want everybody, you know, I want everybody to be happy. So, you know, you try to satisfy everybody. Well, uh, I just wanted to give you a shout, let you know I changed my number and everything, touch base with you a little bit. Okay. But thank you. And oh. I guess I'll talk to you later. Okay, then, man. Uh, I'm free, please. I don't need anything else. Okay. No, you did. You trim the, 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 the leaves and stuff before, right? Yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah, I trim them off your roof there. Yes. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. So we're good. Yeah. All right, man. Okay, then. Thank you, Curtis. All right. Take care. Right, listen, in the future, if I call you, well, no, I'll make sure, I'll, I'll make sure I turn my caller ID on when I call you. Yeah, I thought that was a spam call. <laughs> Don't show. Yeah, that's what I was thinking, too. Yeah. Uh, all right, buddy. Okay, man. Take care. Okay. All right. Okay, guys. Oh, where was I, guys? God, I, I, I tell you, this happens all day long. I get customers calling right, in, right when I'm doing something, trying to do something else. I'm, I didn't think nobody was going to call me at this time, but they, they keep calling. That's what customers. But what I think what, what I was telling y'all was about this here was another accessory. This here uh, pole that I use uh, to uh, record with, you know, uh, you know, you can do some... Uh, corner shots with your camera and place it around in different areas use something like this I think this is extended if I I don't know I added this part onto it but I don't think let me see how far can I get it yeah that's about I think it's this this is how far it go yes yeah, extended but yeah use something like this to uh do some recording now I know y'all probably wondering what else I use when I'm doing some of my videos now, I do, uh, I don't post these though, but I do have this here, this device right here, the uh, AKAI MP Mini. This here, you can create some beats. You know, it's got the little drum, you can mix it up, do your mixing and all of this and that, turn your sound up on it. And then, you know, you, you can play right in here and you can get sound. I don't have it hooked up now, but I'll hook it up to a computer. I'll load the software on there, and I'm able to create beats and uh, put it with a video. But it's something else you have to do with a video. If I wanted to post that video, I got to get it clear so I don't get a copyright scratch. So this is just something else I do on the side. It's working and creating my own beats for my video if I want to post it. And I've created a lot of different sounds. Uh, with uh, my computer and using this here device. They're pretty good little beats. I may have to let y'all hear them one day. Well, I gotta be careful with it because I don't wanna get a copyright scratch. But anyway, that's 
that there's some of the stuff that I used and oh, what else I wanted to share with y'all. Uh, what I do, uh, my recording with, I have, it's, well, I got a computer here. I got a computer over here with a 17 inch screen. You see this one right here? This is one of my Dell computers here that I use. And I have another Dell right here that I use for doing my uh, recording and videos. Now that's one there. And as you know, I got another computer, a Dell. So I'm very active. I don't like no failure. I don't like nothing that's breaking down. If a computer's messed up, I got another one ready to go. That's just the way I am. I keep basically two of everything. And basically, I use all of these computers to do my job uh, for creating, editing, and doing a lot of other stuff. Now, I don't know what this, this here it must be a spam call. Excuse me again, guys. Hello, thanks for calling. We welcome on here. How can I help you? Hey. Hey, my name is Dominic. I watch you on uh, YouTube. Oh, you watch me on YouTube? Yeah. Okay, Dominic. All right. Well, appreciate that, man. Appreciate that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Appreciate it. You, 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 how did, how did, how did you start your business? How did you do it? Oh, I done started multiple businesses. It's, it's been, uh, I've been doing this for some years. Oh, yeah? No, some years. I've been at this over 30 years now. So I've, I've started this a long time. Hey, oh, you. God. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. Wow. I'm trying to start one, too. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. oh. That's not, that's great. Hey, uh, you caught me in the middle of something. I was right. I'm working on a video right now. I'm right into a live screen. You just caught me. So you're going to be added into my live screen here. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm going to. Uh, I like how you're doing a lot more videos. You got, you got a lot of them posted. Oh, yeah. Said, hey. That, 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 that's Curtis. <laughs> yeah. 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 Yep. Yeah. 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 That's me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 These, 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 these guys are no good over here. They don't, they don't, they don't trim the, the, uh, the, uh, the bushes or nothing. The head trimmer. Yeah. They don't do the bushes. They don't pick the, pick the sprinklers. They don't do nothing. Oh, okay. Wow. They, 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 they terrible. Oh, man. Well, that's not good. Yeah, that's not good. No. They don't, they, they don't, they don't fix them. <laughs> Mm. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. You, 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 are you in Texas, huh? Yeah, I'm in Texas. Yeah. Uh huh. And what you say in your video, you do, you do uh, 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 local up there. Right, right. Yeah, I do local. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. yeah, and then, and, and then you said you, you got a red, a red truck. Yeah, yeah, I have a red truck. Yes, yes, mm -hmm. that I do. Yeah. Yes. And then you got a white truck. Right, right. I have a white truck. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, you can pick up. You can pick up a lot of yards, huh? like fifty or or or, or twenty five. Oh yeah, in a year, yeah, maybe that. But over over a period of time, I've done over a thousand or more cuts out there doing lawn service. Yep. More. 
Yep. Wow. Yep. Wow. You got one of those riding ones, one of those riding mowers. Right. Yeah. If you look at the video, you see all the mowers I have. The one that's those are the ones that I use in the video. Those mowers that I, I share. Whatever you see me in the video, those are the mowers I'm using. Oh yeah, yeah. Yep. Yeah. I saw you use. I use a rider mower. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Those are the ones you got. Right. Yes. The new one, the those, those commercial ones are 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 expensive to use. All of them are expensive. They cost money. All of them. <laughs> yeah, all of them cost money. Yeah. Wow. That's yep. Exactly. Yep. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, a lot, 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 a lot
Let's see. Oh, yeah, what else I have? Y'all know I use a lot of stuff for my phone and I use my tablet. So I'm all teched up. I mean, I got all kinds of stuff for being, a, as they say, a geek for being computers and all of that. Now, these are just some of my laptops. I do have uh, some desktop computers, too, that I use. And uh, what else I got? Oh, when I'm out, you know, I have my backpack. I have one of these here bags here that I put my camera accessory in. When I'm traveling, I put it off in the, have one of these zero bags here. I put them in there. And I carry my stuff with me so that I can uh, have all my gear with me when I'm recording. So I have that one. And I also, let's see, I got another one here. Now this one, this is another camera bag that I have. And I got another one, but it's a bigger camera bag. And I have uh, this, this, a lot of accessories in that one. But this was the old one here. I've been had this for some years. I've had this back in the 90s when I was uh, traveling. So you got a lot of little room in there to put your camera in and tote it around and all. So that's some of my uh, camera gear accessories that I use when I'm out uh, recording videos and all. And so I'm sharing this with y'all, so if y'all uh, are interested in, you know, doing your own videos, you may want to pick up some cameras, accessories, and use in creating your YouTube video. And, uh, I mean, you can do it with a phone. You can do it, well, you can actually do it with a tablet. But what I found out with the phone, some of them shoot pretty good, but I don't get near the quality as what a, a camera will do for you for it in the lens and all of that but these are still good i mean you can you can get some you can still get some good shots using your phone with these iphones and all and you know with the tablet they, they're getting better the processor and these here are real good so that's uh a way of using to create videos if y'all like to do some videos or recording videos and creating your own channel and equipment now i've been just hardcore into doing this it's like like i always say you never know uh who's looking at you and you may be that next one that gets discovered and hey next thing you know <laughs> overnight you get discovered and you become this major major millionaire you may have some some skill set that somebody's looking at and they be like hey i like him i think that's that's how I, uh What's the young man's name? Oh, Justin Bieber. That's how he was discovered. He was using his uh, his his uh, YouTube channel. And he was singing his music and dancing and post the video, and he was discovered. And you seen what happened next? He blew up, and uh, it was some more guys that were singing. Young guys, I remember, and they were singing, and you could see them on. Uh, on YouTube and um, they posted the video and the people were saying hey who is that we want them in a concert and so they they got in contact with these young men and next thing you know they went from being broke to becoming a millionaire overnight you know simply because they had posted a, a song so you just never know and that's why you have to uh, keep working on your skill sets and just keep practicing. You never know. You just never know. But if you don't uh, work on something, then you know you just hey, you you just out there. You may be. You may have some creative skill that nobody never could have wild imagine. Some song or something that you have written, or or what something you don't put together, some type of poem or something other, and you put it out. Just never know what may happen or how creative you can. Uh, become so you know it, 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 don't don't put stuff off if it's something you like and you you have a passionate for it uh stay at it keep working at it and you just never know what that might turn into i've uh, 
done looked at a lot of YouTube videos and some stuff I like I never would imagine. I mean, you just never would imagine that things could happen like this. I, I, I was looking at a little kid and all the kid done was he played these little old toys and he's got over a million something subscribers and the little guy is like, I think eight or nine years old, a multi-millionaire simply from YouTube and all he does is play toys, play with some toys and they hold the camera there and record him playing with some toys and the thing blew up. I'm like, wow. So you never know what could happen by you being creative and posting videos. You know, I mean, a lot of videos, a lot of people uh, would not know, you know, what would have happened with their uh, their skills and their talent. Uh, there was a couple, they accidentally, they was posting these videos and accidentally they didn't, they had it private, but they left it, they, for some reason they got off of private and they went public. And next thing you know, people kept calling them and uh, they started a business, but it was all private. It was something that they were just doing on the side and this thing just took off. And that was, and that was amazing. So you just never know, you guys. So y'all got to stay uh, stay on it. Stay on your skills. Who asked me some ELC, GoPro 10 or 11? Uh, I got a GoPro. Uh, I got a GoPro 10 and I got a GoPro 9. Uh, I haven't decided if I wanted to get the 11. Uh, I don't, they got the GoPro 11 and they got the GoPro uh, Mini 11. And I don't know. I'm undecided. I thought about getting that little Mini. And I, don't, I don't know yet. I'll decide maybe. I don't know. I don't know yet. I got to read up on that some more. Let's see. Butter boy. It's cool that you work so hard to make your videos as good as possible. Hey, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> yes. It's a lot of hard work in it. Put a lot of time in it. I, I enjoy it. I really want them to uh, be good. You know, so I'm going to keep working at it. You know, I like I say, I invested money into a lot of this stuff just to uh, produce these videos. Whether my stuff takes off for me or not. But I'll help somebody else, you know, what what I'm doing. I, it all started as a hobby, and I've just been working this hobby for years. You know, and I, I do it because I, I like like doing it. It became a passion for me. <laughs> all right, let's see. Brad Roller, Curtis, you do, you do have any YouTube play buttons? Let's see, do I have having any YouTube play buttons? Mm, no, no, I don't have it. Uh, uh probably something I need to be looking into. Let's see. That's when that's cook. Are you doing a Thanksgiving cook video this year? Yes, yes, I'm working on that right now. I'm gonna be doing that Thanksgiving. Everybody asked me about that. I'm gonna, be, yeah, I'm gonna be. Uh, let me see. Between if I can get this stuff squared away with this uh lawn care these people keep calling me for doing lawns i can really get my kitchen set up but I, i've been working on it so between this week and uh next week well i'm gonna I'm try to square this away this week with these lawns hopefully if i don't get any more rain i can get uh i can i can catch up on uh this lawn care stuff I didn't get to work today because it was raining. I would have, I would have had most of these lawns off my list, but it rained today, so I'm like, oh well. Maybe tomorrow, if it doesn't rain, I will uh, get it, uh, you know, caught up on all my uh, lawns and all. Let's see. All right, have YouTube sent you any flats for views? No, I ain't never received anything from YouTube, no type of plats or anything. Nah. Nah, I mean, normally, I think, let me see, you would get some type of, uh, what's that, some kind of subscribe pillow when you reach 10,000 subscribers. I ain't got nothing on that. And then, I think the next one, well, I don't know, for 30, 
or if you go 50 up to a hundred thousand well you can get a big old you get a plat when you are uh, reach a hundred thousand uh subscribers now what it is and from my readings and understanding where this thing goes in YouTube there's different levels you go going when you reach 30,000 you qualify for brand deals and then when you reach 50,000 you qualify for some type of business deals and then at a hundred thousand where well, you get a plat and you require for something else I mean other people start calling you for different things and all and from my understanding and reading this but I don't know if I keep you know keep posting videos I'll see if any of that happens for me I don't know <laughs> if it happens it happens. <laughs> I don't know uh, let's see Brad Rolling Curtis do you have any YouTube no no let's see no, no, no. okay yeah, well as YouTube sent you a plat you know YouTube ain't gonna send me nothing hello what magnetic mounts do you use on your truck Arrow. and what mounts do you use on the hood do you can't all right I, I have some but I have this right here this here is a magnet right here uh that will magnet to the truck you know I still have like the truck that I have is uh let me see what it is yeah okay the truck is metal is is yeah that one I have is still some kind of metal tin now the hood on the truck is aluminum so this won't work on the hood of my truck but it'll work on the door the fenders the cab and I think I can also get it to mount on the tailgate and in some parts of the bumper but on the hood it won't now I have to use more of like this right here a suction cup on the hood because that's aluminum and you know most vehicles now the newer vehicles are all aluminum so I won't be able to use a magnet until I only be able to use a magnet on the mowers the metal mowers so this is the kind of magnet I use I have some more uh magnets that I use are smaller that uh I can mount on it on different areas but I don't, I don't have them with me I have them somewhere else around there that's what I use uh let's see one man okay what and what mounts do you use to hunt them more for your cameras well I use this here right here this here mount right here I use for my Honda mowers I can screw this here on the deck or the handlebars of the mower just tighten this jaw down put the camera on here station the camera the way I want it you know set it up and uh you know move it around and tighten it up so this is this is what I use I use this right here I also have some other accessories that uh you know I got the vest thing I got a head mount you can put on your head and all of that to uh put a camera on and record with uh okay let's see what else uh just <laughs> okay <laughs> just MSJ. hey thank you thank you yeah i you know i hope everyone you know uh gets some positive vibes from uh me posting these videos hope it help them and uplift them to uh never give up keep striving for your goals because they're there and you're only going to get something out of it out of something if you put something in and you got to put your time and effort into it to make something out of it and when you look back at it you say what if I wouldn't just sit around looked around and did nothing then your life don't pass you by and you're like oh man I wasted a lot of time when I could have done something so you don't want to do that so you want to be all keep a positive mind keep moving and keep learning and keep investing in yourself and improving yourself you don't never give up uh, and that's the way you got to think about it you know a lot of times people will find excuses and say that I can't do this of course you didn't come into this world knowing how to do everything you had to take some time and learn and 
some people just don't want to take out the time and learn something and learn how to do something. I mean, that's that's the part of having a strategy so that you can uh, learn how to earn and, um, you know, just keep yourself motivated so you can grow in life. That, that's the most important thing. You want to be able to grow. Now, I noticed a video. Someone asked me about uh, um, what they asked me about. Oh, running a lawn care business. Now, there's a video that I posted some years back. I think I posted that video back in 2015 uh, about how I run my lawn care business. And I remember the guy's name. His name was Paul. And I created it. He asked me about doing a video for him on that. And uh, I got a lot of people ask me, and they always wanted me to do an update on that video. <laughs> and uh, I know back then, you know, things were totally different until now. I mean, there's a lot, a lot of difference. So I'm, I'm going to do a new video on there about running a lawn care business. And what I, let me see, how would I say? Yeah, running a, how to run a lawn care business today because it's a lot of new technology and a lot of stuff have changed and different mores that you can invest in and it'll make the job a lot easier for you if you're a solo guy versus uh trying to uh put a crew together i mean a lot of that you can make a lot more money but it's a lot more headaches and you know if you get a lot of contracts it's good to have uh you know built it up and you can get a crew put a crew together and hopefully keep the contract and hopefully make a good profit out of it but it can also be a lot of headaches you know and um because a lot of times people say well thought about thought that i was going to go and build a big old crew and i'm like i don't want i don't want a crew i just like being solo i want to keep it simple i don't want nothing big i like it small is less headaches. If people don't want to work, you gotta you gotta chase them down and all. And, uh, <laughs> so I never, I decided I didn't want to, I didn't want to go that route. I just like, I like, I like to keep it simple. What I do is just fine and good for me. You know, I can make much as I want to make. And uh, when I say I got enough, I got enough. I ain't got to worry about nothing. No payroll, no nothing. Nobody not coming to work. Nobody ain't showing up. I don't have to worry about that. Nobody getting hurt, all of this and that. No. <laughs> so I try to just keep this thing simple. I, I don't went that route. And I know how it, a lot of times it seems like a lot of money. But sometimes you don't make, make as much. You can make it just as more, more money by working for, by yourself alone. And be happy. Let's see. Who else? ELC speak. Okay, speak on the solo mind cure guy in 2023. Okay. All right. Big Sun. Hello. Okay, Big Sun Lung Cure. Hey, how you doing, Big Sun? All right. Let's see. Let's see, y'all see how many lungs a day and it counts for a solo guy. I would say for a solo guy, enough lungs, depending on where they're located and the size of the property. Per day would be like 10. 10 lungs is enough. I mean, you could do more, but why? I mean, 10 is enough and per day. 10 lungs per day, and that, that's enough for you. Because after 10 lungs, you're going to be tired, depending on the size of the lung. But I like to uh, keep it at 10. I have done 10 to 15 in a day, but that's just really pushing it. You're just burning yourself out. Nah, you don't want to. You don't want to run yourself slow to you. You're crawling in the door at home. You want to be able to walk in the door when you get home. I mean, no, them lungs, man. That, mm -mm. I don't even care if you have the, the fancy lawnmowers, zero turns and walking. You still got to walk with that trim. And you walking up and down and putting that stuff away and unloading and unloading and unloading. And you wear yourself out. So 10, 10 a day is good enough. You, know, you, can, you, can, you can do pretty good just with 10. Just think if you're getting... You do two months a day and they're fifty dollars a yard that's 500 a day so you know that's good and then by the end of the week you're looking at what 2500 so you got to deduct out your, your costs and all of that now here's another thing a lot of people 
since, since y'all asked me there's a lot of time what people don't understand about running a business they think that the money that they're making is uh you know it's all their money i'm like yeah but you gotta you, you gotta have some consistency so you gotta spend some money to make more money and then when you make more money you make a profit you gotta take that money and look for an investment like some annuity funds and you know bonds or whatever and put some of that money that you make for your company away over in that because then your company will go broke you know you just little money little bank account stuff happens so you got to have that use that money wisely to uh, invest in other funds because you can work a lot but that don't mean nothing you stack that little money up and it ain't making no money for you you no nah, you got to look for other investments you know to uh put the money in and let it grow it can grow quicker you invest you know so you got to look at some other plans you go to the bank and you find out other avenues and say well you know you want to have a business you want to have a business investment account where you put your money in there and the money can grow over a period of time i mean you know you just just say if you had just say you had just for an example just say you had ten thousand dollars and you know you've been mowing yards for 20 years well that ten thousand dollars could turn into maybe a hundred thousand or two hundred or three hundred thousand dollars if it's invested into the right fund so you gotta look for stuff like that all you it depends on how much you want to put into your investments you want to put 10 20 but each year if you keep putting money in there you can turn yourself into a millionaire just by saving money and investing the money that's why you want to make the money grow for you I mean mowing yards that's fine and good but you got to make that money so that you can save some money and have some money so that if you decided one day that you just say well you woke up and you say well, I don't want to work no more I got enough money I don't need to work anymore because my money makes money for me then you're like hey I quit I'm through with it and that's where you want to get to that level what do you think these big old establishments do these companies they got to a different level where they invested money they got they make these companies are so big they're making millions of dollars a day and they could keep a person employed a year or two or three years and it wouldn't even touch them and they can do nothing you know because you you can see some of the larger corporations they have a lot of people running around they're barely working because the company is so heavy in the pocket where they got all these investments is making so much money they'll take and pay the employees with the interest off of that money because the company is so large and it makes so much money but then when that when the economy gets bad and they're making that kind of money then they say oh no we ain't finna touch our money we ain't finna we ain't finna lose our millions we're gonna stay a millionaire or a billionaire we ain't cutting back because it's, it's once you reach that level it's hard to uh well it gets harder to keep it because if you start if you just you can be one dollar nine hundred ninety nine dollars and you know one dollar from being a millionaire then you ain't a millionaire until you got that other dollar in there so you're going you ain't going to never spend that dollar you want you want to keep keep on saving that money keep investing that money keep that money rolling so that you can have more money you know so your money will take care of you and you ain't got to keep trying to work so hard and all this and that so that, that that's a different level that you have to build yourself up to so that you can make decisions and say well i'm calling it i'm gonna do this and don't do it <laughs> yeah let me see if i can answer any more people out there any more of the comments okay well you looking forward to 2023 <laughs> yeah i'm always looking forward for 2023 I always you know when when it, when the year ends i'll be like oh well thank you lord for letting me live this whole year wow you could have you know a lot of people not gonna make it didn't make it in uh 2022 so it's like you getting ready to cross over into a year that you've never lived before so you always be thankful for it so you're always looking for that flower year because during those 12 months you don't know if you're going to live the whole year but when you reach that point and you're going to cross over you'll be like thank you thank you i made it i made it to another year i'm so thankful you know you be feeling great and you be thinking all oh, my friends my family members they made it you know you be like oh man this is good so i'm always looking forward to that next year a lot of people are looking forward for the next year but they're not going to the next year this year was it 
you know, and oh man. <laughs> That's what I can say on that. They say nothing, nothing. Curtis, you are a good boss man. <laughs> well, thank you, big son. Seven, seven for me. All right, big son. Golden Curtis, how old are you? 46 year. Let's see, man. Rolling Curtis, how old are you? 46 year, been in it, been at it for 20 years. Moin. Oh, all right. Hey, I just had a birthday last month and I just made uh 59. I'm 59 years old now. So I've been in it a long time. And uh it's um it's been good. I mean, I feel good. So, you know, I'm I'm still walking. And I'm still moving. And a lot of times I go and I see some of my friends and I, I wonder to myself what happened to them. And they're like, man, how do you do what you do? And, you know, I say, you know, I don't know. I, I say, I just keep trying to be good, you know, just trying to keep be good at whatever I'm doing and try to, you know, just treat everybody right. Just be good to everybody. And, uh, you know, some of them, I mean, it'd be some sad. I be, I get sad when I see some of the things, when I see them on a cane walking and all. Uh, and I see them on a lot of medication. I get sad because I was like, I don't know what what happened, but things happen in life. But one thing I can say, they're still here. So I'm like, you're still here with me. So we can still say hi to each other. You know, and that's a good that's a good feeling. Yeah. Let's see. Uh, all right. Hey, hello, Curtis. Good to see you on here. All right. Yeah. Yo. It is uh, ELC is our account. Account the way to go. Say IRA. Uh, yeah, IRA is a good account. That's that's a good one. Yeah, you always want to have an IRA. You want to definitely have some some type of savings. If you're working for yourself, you definitely want to be putting some money away, investing money at all times. So that uh, you know you can retire and have something. Yeah. So if you're working hard, you want to have some type of IRA, and you want to have some other funds, IRA for retirement, and then some other annuities and stocks and all of that. You want to have some of that all invested, because like I say, you can put that money in the right place that you what what you're earning. And it can grow a lot further than you just trying to stackpile it. I mean, sometimes I've known people have stackpile their money, work their way to becoming a millionaire by stackpiling, but they was in a high position, like a doctor, and they're making like you know a million a year or more. But if you're not making a million a year or more, then you need to be looking in more into the investment funds or what's going, what's out there is growing. You want to be putting your money into a, a good fund, something grow. I mean, it's scary out here. I know some people have invested money into some of this, but I don't know much about it. But uh, it was what would they call that crypto? I don't know anything about no crypto. I was trying to read up on it, but I didn't quite understand it, so I didn't mess with that. But there's other funds, you know, that you can invest in. But you got to do your research on that and see how long they've been around what i'm saying is you don't want to put your money in something that's stagnated i mean like i said if you put a put ten thousand dollars in there and then 10 years don't went by and it's still that you made two thousand dollars in 10 years that's not a good investment but if you put ten thousand in in a fund and it goes to in you know a hundred thousand in 10 years well, that's a good investment, and you only put ten thousand in. Look at the return that you got for your money for that investment. So that's something to um, to consider. So, but you got to do some research on that and find those types of funds, and they're out there. So you just got to research them and study the way that works. That's why you see me when I have all these computers. It's like. I, you know, I do a lot of research and studying different options for stocks and bonds and where's a good investment and all and what to invest some money in. Uh, 
you know, like liquefied money, you know, liquid money, you got cash on hand, but it's, um, you know, what good is it? You know, you can look at it, but if it's not growing, that, that money ain't no good. You got to have that money where it's growing, where that money is steady turning them dollars for you. And that, that's the way you want to have it. So you can, uh, you know, live comfortable and not have to, you know, worry about stuff as you get older. You want to you want to be uh, situated where that, you know, if you want to buy a new car, or go out on a nice vacation, you can afford to go. And because your money is working for you, your money is study making money for you. So, and that's where you want to have it. You know, you don't want to have to keep trying to have to go out there and work for some money. You want to have that money where that, hey, if I'm, I'm through with it, I don't want to work no more. I got enough money. I don't want to work. My money's working for me. I worked, I saved my money. I invested my money and now my money is going to work for me. So I'm out of here. I'm through doing all this. And that's the way you want to have it. And those are things you have to study. And it can happen. Curtis, keep kicking, buddy. 59. Enjoy the video. Hey, thanks, Brad Rowland. Thanks a lot. Yep. Thanks a lot, LC. Thanks. Appreciate it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, guys. Yeah, so I've been trying to share these. Uh, I've been doing these lives, um, you know, uh, since I've been so busy and, you know, and, and the weather and all. So I've been trying to share them a lot more of me going live. I just didn't have the time. You know, when this long period season kicks in, you, you, you study running and uh, you'll be running all day. You're running over here, running there, and then you don't have the time. So I try to... Uh, uh, when I have some time, try to share some of my experience with y'all. Maybe, you know, what I'm doing will help someone else, uh, you know, being inspired to do something. And uh, I remember, matter of fact, it was some years back. I was, uh, what was I? I was out. I think I was at this GIE Expo. And a guy walked up and told me, he said, you know, you are because... I started a business. I was like, huh? He said, you know, I I was at home and I was flipping through, looking through YouTube and I ran across your video and I started looking at your videos every day. And so then it changed my life. I, 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 I got up, I got up out of the couch and uh, I got busy and I started moving. He said, if you could do it, I can do it. And he said, I've been moving ever since. I felt so good when he told me that because I was like, I didn't know. I didn't know that I had inspired somebody to get up and go go move. I didn't know. But I felt good that uh, that video inspired him to go. And he started his lawn care business and he done bought him, I don't know, two or three skag mowers and a new truck and all of that. And I was like, wow. But he said he didn't, he, he wasn't doing nothing. He was just kind of down and depressed and Things just wasn't going his way. And uh, he said, but I ran across your video and it, it inspired me to go do something. And I was like, wow. So I was happy, you know, because I'm like, man, I know, you know, being down and not having nowhere to go and nothing to do can be very hard. You know how it is. Working on a job nowadays, these people, you know, these people will let you go if something gets bad in there. You can be with them for years, but if something goes bad in the company and they they gonna let you go, and then you gotta you gonna have to get out there and fend for yourself. So you are gonna have to figure something out and uh, make it. And it's always I have some something always working on the side of work that hey, if it does happen, I got something else in line of doing, and that's the way to keep it. Yeah, guys, let me see what time is it. What time is it? I'm going to have to get out of here. I've been, oh, I've been over here. I've been on this live for an hour and 10 minutes, guys. Hey, I'm going to call it. I'm going to get out of here. Uh, I hope I hope everyone uh, is doing well and y'all are having a good week here. And uh, I will uh, chat with y'all again on another live soon. So until now. Uh, 
Y'all have a good one. I'm gonna get up out of here. Uh, let's see, Justin M A J. All right, have a good rest of the week. Oh yes. All righty, I'll see you too, man. Y'all have a good one. I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna get ready because I gotta. I, well, it rained today, so I'm gotta get ready and get my stuff together so that I can be <laughs> ready for tomorrow. I got a lot of uh, stuff I gotta do tomorrow. Well, practically, yeah, all the, all the rest of the week if I don't get any more rain. But I'm gonna get out of here for now, and uh, y'all y'all take care. I'll be back soon. <laughs> all right. Have a good night, y'all. So.